Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to what could loosely be described as Blacktown Aquatic Centre with the amount of rain we've had so far today. It is, yes, Blacktown Football Park, as the announcer has said, and it's Friday Night Football. It's the MPL New South Wales Men's League One clash between the Blacktown Spartans, currently sitting in seventh spot on the ladder, and the SD Raiders, they're sitting in 12th on the ladder as we speak. But it's a real snakes and ladders match tonight. There's only one point between the two sides, one competition point, even though they're in 7th and 12th. So a win for either side tonight would really move them up. Now we're going to have a moment's silence here. Now we might take you through the introductions again following that uh, moment's silence. Uh, good evening and welcome everyone to uh, what could loosely be described as Blacktown Aquatic Centre with the amount of rain we've had so far today. It's uh, Friday Night Football. It's the NPL New South Wales Men's League One Clash. It's the Blacktown Spartans currently sitting in 7th spot on the ladder up against the SD Raiders. They're in 12th on the ladder at the moment but only one competition point separates the two sides. So a real snakes and ladders game tonight. If one of the sides can get a win it really flies them up the ladder. Well, in summary so far, it's been a tricky season for the SD Raiders. Very few goals, no goals in fact scored in their last three games. Different story for the Spartans, a bit up and down. In the last couple of weeks, they'd had both a 4-0 win and a 3-0 loss. So, differing fortunes for the two teams so far. And speaking of the teams, let's take you to the team news now. We'll start with the home side, Black Ten Spartans. It's Jacob Madden in goals. Then they've got Jamie Prochevsky, Paolo Banani, Alex Casella, and their captain, of course, Peter Pelicanos, Daniel Arujo, Hyun Min Yang, and Riley Chappell, Soleimani Bangara, Christian Nasiman, and the goal machine, Aiden Kira, in the nine jersey up front. And here we go. SD Raiders in possession straight away. We'll take you through their team in a minute. Well, charge down, a quick charge down. But uh, the ball has fallen back comfortably for Lachlan McGrath, right in the center of the fence there. And he's got Riley Cox Barron and Lachlan McGrath with him. And of course, Cooper Hannigan, the rest of their team, they've got uh, Miel Marich, Captain James Letter in the number eight jersey, Jonathan Sabatu, Seb Malfara, Nick Azizi, and JCF, Justin Chan, Frias up front for them tonight on what is a wet and windy night here at, uh, well, it's Black Ten Football Park as its official name, but uh, the rain has been pouring down. Let's see what effect it has on the game. It's uh, well, a little messy challenge there at the start. Well, the referee, in fact, our referee has given the first, first free kick of the night. He's given. It's uh, going to be a free kick to Blacktown. And they take it quickly and they bring it out from the back. Nice and composed there, Banani. The wind is quite strong now. You can see the wind very strongly in favour of the SD Raiders at the moment. As the ball is held, uh, come through the back there, Jamie Brzezewski. Holding up the ball, looking to, uh, looking to find a free man right in the middle of the field. Oh, no, lovely little dummy there. Great dummy there by, uh, by Suleimani Bangara. But the ball has fallen for the Raiders. And they're powering forward now, but uh, easily intercepted. Who will the ball fall to? Falls to the Raiders again. Can they get the first shot of the night in? Falls to Marcic. Marcic with the first shot of the night. Done a terrific save around the corner there. Well, Mel Marcic looked up. He looked uh, like he had a little bit of space there. Lovely shot with the right foot. Looked like that was arcing in, but uh, Jacob Madden stretched out his hands there and made a lovely save. And we will have our first corner of the night. It'll be taken from the far right-hand side. Looks like it's Seb Malfara who's heading across there to take it. As I said, the wind very much in the favour of SD Raiders in this first half. The rain has eased off a little bit. It's swirling a little bit, but again, it's certainly in SD Raiders' favour. And uh, prepares to put the corner in now. Lachlan McGrath dancing around near the penalty spot. He's a candidate to get that. Here comes the corner now. It's deep around to the back post. 
Well, the ball, in fact, went out in the air. One of those unusual rules. The ball goes out in the air behind the goal. Our uh, assistant referee on the far side. Uh, we'll name our assistant referees now. In fact, we've got uh, Dimitri Violentis is one of our assistant referees, and Isaac Riggs is the other. Our match referee tonight, Jerry Bitas. And, well, we have a, we have a possible injury in the first couple of minutes. It uh, looks like it's James Letta who's uh, gone down in the box there. Didn't see any contact. It looks like it's a, a muscle injury, perhaps. For Letta, he's up quickly. He is, uh, he is hobbling a little bit. There, number eight and captain makes his way back towards the center of the field. And uh, we'll restart play. Well, the ball has remained in Jacob Madden's hands. And in fact, the ball is on the ground. I beg your pardon. It's going to be a goal kick for, for Jacob Madden. Standing out in his bright luminous sort of highlighter yellowy green color and is he going to take it long well no in fact well the referee has whistled yes and away we go a little bit of confusion there but uh, the game is back up and running now again black Chance spartans with the ball bringing it out from the back christian asenbin plays a long ball forward long ball forward can the spartans pick it up now cleared away well there cleared away well at the back it looked like it was going to fall for Kier, i think it was there the goal machine for the spartans but uh, cleared away well at the back by ST Raiders, and they build again. Build again from the back. It's Nason been calling for the ball, and he has it almost immediately. He's got quite a bit of space in front of him. Finds a short pass now just to his right-hand side, and then back inside now. Here is, here is Kira. I beg your pardon. Is he going to have a shot? He is with his right foot. It takes deflection up in the air. Falls in the box. Pinballing around in the box there. No one really taking control of it. There's a shot from Kira from distance, it has to be said. Chipped over to the back post again. Kira, has he picked it up again? He has. He's going to go around the last defender. He cannot. It's cleared away well. Cleared away well. And what a threat he is, Aiden Kira, straight away. I thought he had the first chance. It was, in fact, uh, Soleimani Bangara. I beg your pardon about that first chance. But the shot just a moment ago. Aiden Kira there. Picking up the ball. And then a second chance. Miel Marcic just did enough. Just did enough to put him off. And we'll have the first Blacktown corner now of this first half. And it's nice and bit again. He's been in all the action so far. He's coming across to take it. We've got uh, feverish activity on the bench now with that uh, possible injury to James Letter. We've got the subs for SD Raiders warming up already. That would be a very early, a very early change. But uh, here comes our corner. First corner to Blacktown, as I mentioned. Christian Aseman is going to take it. And there's six, seven, eight players all congregated on the edge of the box. Here comes the ball now in from Aseman up in the air. Pinballing around, but away. Cleared away well by SD Raiders. A little bit of pinball there again. That's not for the first time tonight. In these windy, blustery conditions, I have to expect that there will be... Uh, Quite a bit of that this evening. And the ball is now out in the far left-hand side. It'll be a throw-in to the Spartans. And they take it quickly. Well, everybody's appealing for the ball there, but to our match referee, Jerry Bittis says that's going to be another throw to the Spartans out on the far right-hand side. And they've taken it short. But again, one back by SD Raiders. And in fact, it'll be a throw-in to them now. Our referee quick to, quick to adjudicate there. And so on the far right-hand side, the throw-in is taken. Well, the throw-in is taken short, and it's... Letta there who's cleared away well he really is struggling Letta he's cleared the ball away well there but he is visibly hobbling and struggling he cleared the ball away well it was almost a three on zero from an errant uh, throw but we're back to the live action now and driving forward ball is down the far right hand side of the field can it be kept in play by the Raiders well it is just kept in play well it's going to be a, a throw in and Letta is signaling to the sideline he's signaling to the sideline I'm not sure if he's going to be able to continue He's waving his arm around. He's dropped back out of his midfield position. He's back playing centre half now, but uh, not looking very comfortable at all. The ball is played just to his right. And the ball is played back now towards our goalkeeper. He controlled it well. Miguel Figuera has controlled the ball well. Again, these blustery conditions playing havoc with, uh, with both teams. Looking to play the ball on the ground. It's difficult. Looking to play the ball in the air. It swirls around. And now back a little bit of composure again. And the ball is back now with, uh, with the ST Raiders. It's Sabatu with the ball. Jonathan Sabatu on this left-hand side. And he's calling for it again from Letta. And Letta finds him again. Jonathan Sabatu brings it forward. Lovely little dink inside. Lovely little dink inside. But it's JCF there. Picked up the ball really nicely in his distinctive number 99 there. He's been a, a goal threat. They've not scored many goals this year, but he's been the threat. And he turns again, does he? No, he slips away. Oh, well, he slips away because of a foul, in fact, there. And it's... Uh, Justin Chanfrias looking very lively in these opening minutes. And Jerry Bittis awards the free kick. 
Didn't particularly appeal for the free kick, SD Raiders, but uh, our match referee has adjudicated a foul. As the rain comes down again, it's coming down a little bit heavier now than it was a few moments ago. And the wind is swirling. It's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a free kick, and it's Seb Malfara standing over the ball. You've got to think in these conditions, he uh, may have a little pop of goal here. The referee is happy that he's got the wall back. It's Seb Malfara standing up. Jacob Madden prepared. Here comes Malfara. He's driven in, but oh, headed away well. Headed away, straight away, headed away by Suleimani Bangara. And now played away well by Blacktown. The danger, the danger is cleared. And it's gone all the way back now to the other side. Miguel Figuera with the ball, playing it out now to the right-hand side. And again, we've got Sabadu calling for the ball to be squared all the way across to him. Doesn't find it, but that is a lovely pass all the way across again. The ball bouncing up the conditions. Not helping Marcic there. The ball bounced up off what is a wet surface over his head. And, uh, well, is it time for that substitution now? It looks like it is going to be a substitution for the SD Raiders. And if they look across, yes, shaking his head in disappointment. It's the captain, James Leda, kicks the ball against uh, kicks the ball against the fence at the side here. Looks like a, looks like a muscle injury, certainly, and we'll, uh, we'll have our first substitution of the game. The game barely 10 minutes old, and we're already going to have our first substitution. And it's the captain, James Leda, making way. He will be very disappointed with that. But we restart play with a throw in. Flicked on, Bangara flicks it on, but ST Raiders win it back almost immediately. And here they come, charging forwards. But, uh, well, charging forward and they're halted. Halted there by a little tug on the jersey. It was Marcic again. We've called his name numerous times. He's looking very dangerous on the ball, but a little tug of the jersey. And it's going to be a free kick to ST Raiders. We're about 35 metres out from goal. It would be, it would certainly be an ambitious shot from here but with the element supporting him and now he chooses to play the ball out now to the far right hand side and it's picked up well just on the edge of the box Raiders looking to shape for a cross brought back crossed into the middle he's just there again causing havoc it's JCF but uh, couldn't quite get on the end of it but Raiders have won it back again almost immediately but cleared cleared away well cleared away well by Perchevsky he gets it away long up to halfway and it's Aiden Kira holding it up with a lovely turn inside he finds some support spread out while the ball hits our referee the ball hits our match referee there as per the new rules, well, not as new so far. They've been around for a couple of years. The ball hits the referee. It's going to be a drop ball. Now, who was he going to give the ball back to? It's, uh, it's inside the SD Raiders' half. But it was Blacktown Spartans in possession. And so, yes, the referee is going to return the ball to Christian Dyson. And Blacktown Spartans will restart play. And they do quickly. Dyson, a lovely little touch there. We're coming forward just up near the edge of the box. Lovely little one-touch play there from uh, the Blacktown Spartans. Hard tackle for the ball. It's Bangar. He's got the ball on the edge of the box. What can he do with it? Looks for it again, but no. A little one-touch play from both sides, in fact. But uh, the ball is uh, possession really being traded from one side to the other. And they brought it out now to this left-hand side. Sabathu brings it forward. There's an option now down this near side here, but almost immediately the ball is won back by Spartans. And it really is a scrappy game so far. The conditions make it very difficult for both sides. Ball played for a little bit of late tackle there. Referee waiting to see if an advantage develops. No advantage develops. It was a late tackle there, and the uh, referee is calling across. Calling across. Jonathan Sabatio, I think it is. Just from our vantage point, yes. Jonathan Sabatio was called across. A little talking to from Jerry Bittas, but no more than a talking to. And uh, Spartans restart the play. And it's Yang with the ball, playing it back now. Spartans building from the back. Brzezewski gets it again. Builds. Oh, nice pause there. He saw the danger. Stopped. Checked inside. Did Pelicanos. A little bit of nice interplay there from the Spartans. It's Kira again. He's at the centre of everything. He's charging forward now. Can he be found just on the edge of the box? He's dropped into the box now, Kira. Can they win a corner? No. In fact, it's out for a goal kick. Our match referee. Very well positioned there in exactly the right place. To see that the last touch came off. A Blacktown Spartan player. And we're going to have a goal kick sure if you can see this from your vantage point but the rain really coming down now you can see it in the floodlights making it very difficult for both these teams Sabathia to McGrath McGrath across the front Cooper Hannigan Hannigan back now to McGrath he's got a lot of time McGrath pauses looks up finds Hannigan again Hannigan slowly brings it forward now towards halfway and who could he find well he finds a lovely pass to Marich Marich plays it out to the far right hand side 
Larich, can he find it again? The ball is played in his direction, but no. An errant pass there. It looked like the pass was for Maric, but uh, it was Riley Cox Barlow who was making his way forward there into some open space. The ball just couldn't quite find a nice overlapping run from the number 19, Riley Cox Barlow. And we will have ourselves a goal kick, and it'll be Jacob Madden to take it. Jacob Madden to take it. With the rain really coming right into his face now, Madden, this will be... This will be a difficult one to take, but he strikes it well. Well, the wind really holds it up. In fact, it was going to make the halfway line comfortably, but it really held up in the wind, and uh, SG Raiders have got it back now. But a quick and instant tackle there, but the ball is out of play. An almost instant tackle there, but the ball has gone out of play. And uh, yes, we have confirmation of our substitute. It's number 17 that's come on. It's Thomas Santarossa. He has come on, and he will play in the middle of midfield, it looks like. Santarossa confirmed on four. Yes, the Raiders captain who had to make his way off due to a muscle injury in the first couple of minutes. But now we have Kira. Kira, well, he's dangerous every time he gets the ball. To, uh, more man than ball there, according to our match referee, Jerry Bittis. And now the Raiders can break away. Sabathu again, charging forward down this near side. And he's had some support. The ball is outside to the right-hand side to our substitute. Our substitute, Santa Rossa, but just a little bit too much pepper on that pass. And it's going to be out for another goal kick. So Spartans have kicked off, but they've lost the ball cheaply there. About 30 metres out from their own half, they've lost the ball cheaply, and the Raiders have a chance to get across, and they've crossed it in from the far side. Punched away well there, though, but it's come back straight back. Well, a punch there, a great punch out from Jacob Madden. The wind again playing havoc with the, uh, playing havoc with the play here. The ball held up in the air. Justin Chanfreas, JCF, first-time ball, and just over the bar. But a lovely break down the right-hand side, possession. Given up relatively cheaply there by the Spartans. Picked up on the right-hand side. Maric again involved in the action. Ball played on the right-hand side. Crossed in. Punched away, as I said. And JCF with the chance. Really the first the first decent chance. Will be a nice shot in the first couple of minutes from Maric. But it wasn't uh, a chance really that had been created. Just made out of nothing. That's the first chance really that uh, SG Raiders have uh, have created. Now, what can Blackdown do in response? What a very heavy touch. A very heavy touch there from Aiden Kira. And again... SG Raiders making the most of the uh, conditions being in their favour. They're piling forward again. They pause. And they check back. But it's one now by Nesenbun. Driving forward. Can he find Kira? He can't. He looked to find Kira there through. He's looking dangerous every time, making these runs, looking to get into space. But it's Sabathia now. Again, finds the ball in the middle of the field. Santa Rosa really has uh, gone straight into that position. I beg your pardon, that was Cox Barrow. Here is Santa Rosa now on the ball on this near left-hand side. Three times the ball was called for by his teammate, and he found him. He found him well there. Seb Malfara looking for the ball, crosses it in. Well, Seb Malfara called for the ball well there. It was Santa Rosa, he looked up, he found him. He had a little bit of space. Looking to dink the ball back inside, but uh, again, there's a little bit too much on it. The wind that's in SD Raiders' favour. It's going to help them in some instances, you'd imagine tonight, certainly with shots, if they can keep them low. But those little dinged passes in, they've really got to get, uh, really got to get them exactly right, or they'll be uh, carried by this wind and out for a, out for a goal kick, as uh, has happened on that occasion. Now, Madden, he's kept that kick a little bit lower this time, and it's, uh, it's found its target. It's found a, uh, an orange and black jersey, but almost immediately won back by SU Raiders, but almost immediately given away. And now it's Bangara, just coming up on the edge of the box. Can he shape for a shot? Can he shape for a pass? Well, the shot was on, the pass was on too, it looked like. He was looking to find Kira again. Their goal threat almost every time. More than half their goals so far this season, Kira. And he's going to get the ball down the sideline there. As he won them a corner, he has indeed. He's a strong man in possession. He held off two SD Raiders defenders there. Managed to get down to the byline and he's won them a corner. And it's Nathan Boone who goes across to, from our vantage point, the far left-hand side to take this corner. A 
It's going to be a right foot in swinging corner now. There's six, seven players all congregated just near the penalty spot. Here comes the corner now. Floated in, dangerously in. Oh, but headed well away, very well away. Picked up on the edge of the box. Chance for a shot. Shot driven in. And just away and wide. Just away and wide. First real shot in anger there, though, from the Blacktown Spartans. Very dangerous corner swung. Headed away really well. Sabat, though, I think it was with the header away there. He's been in everything so far. Shot driven back in from the edge of the box. Kept it low, but not low enough. And over the bar it went. And here they come now, breaking from the back. Azizi in possession, plays it out to Hannigan. Hannigan plays the ball forward now. And quickly into attack, SD Raiders. Back inside, looking to find. Looking to find JCF, but uh, ball just behind him. And now uh, Spartans can break. And the ball down out into this far right-hand corner. It's a chase on. There's a great chase on here. Well, one there again. Jonathan Sabathia has won that really well. And he's played the ball out. It was Suleimani Bangara. The two speedsters in contention for the ball. And we're going to have a throw-in, it looks like. Yes, a throw-in. Alex Casella to take. He's won a back Casella. Has he won a free kick? No, he has not. Looks like he won a free kick for a moment. Nesselman plays the ball in. I beg your pardon, Banani plays the ball in, but straight into the arms. Figure out Figuera. And Figuera bowls it out. But Raiders decide against the sharp attack. They play the ball hard into the centre of the field. Two, two Blacktown players almost collide with each other. The ball is played back, and again, the wind has caught that ball. It's gone back quite quickly. Back to Jacob Madden. What can he do with it? He just plays it away safely. Well, in fact, he finds a man. It looked like he was just going to play it out of play. But he found a, found a teammate quite well, in fact. It was Alex Casella who found it well there, and Blackstone have got the ball in play well here now in this near side. And then our substitute, Thomas Santarosa, wins the tackle and plays the ball forward, and it's out of play. And we'll have yet another goal kick. from the back they really have to the again the long ball is just not really working for them tonight with the swirling conditions and it's Kira oh he follows through a little bit there Kira yes he does a little bit of a follow through on the tackle there from from Kira on Seb Malfara and it'll be a free kick to the Raiders Santa Rosa well he takes it short he was encouraging his teammates to get into the box but he takes it short instead and they well they look like they've given it away but it's fallen nicely now too Sabathu, Sabathu, right foot across, plays it in to the box. Oh, it's evaded everybody. It's evaded everybody, and it's, uh, it's out. Well, it's out for a goal kick. Well, it looked like a corner had been given. Well, our referee, our referee has awarded a corner. Uh, his assistant had said that uh, it was out for a goal kick, but a sharp, shrill blow of the whistle from our match referee, Jerry Bitas, leaving us in absolutely no doubt that he'd made his decision. And it's going to be a corner now out on the far right-hand side, and it's Santa Rosa who's heading across to take it. From the uh, assistant referee's point of view, there he thought Justin Chanfreyas, JCF had gotten the last touch, but no. And well, Sabathu was absolutely all on his own and unmarked in the middle of the box there. And there he is. Oh, a chance for a shot headed away off the line. Well, he was totally and utterly unmarked there. Jonathan, Jonathan Sabathu, the ball escaped the clutches of Jacob Madden. It fell to him. He couldn't quite get a good connection on it. And the ball is out now on this near side to us as the rain really teams down at this point. The ball is cleared away, cleared away well. By the Spartans, ST Raiders. Oh, ST Raiders have now played the ball out. And do we have another injury? Well, well, well. Have we got a second injury of the night? It's Lachlan McGrath, the number 12 for ST Raiders, who was gone down with what looks like a, another muscle injury tonight. Two muscle injuries. We haven't had 30 minutes of the game yet. We've already had the captain of ST Raiders hobble off with what looked like a muscle injury and now we've got the number 12 Lachlan McGrath going down it is it, it is an unseasonably cold night it has to be said the players were out warming up the under 20s game finished only 10 or so minutes before our game kicked off here and it is I have to say it's unseasonably cold it's wet it's windy you might be able to tell by my accent but I'm originally from Ireland these would be it wouldn't be beautiful conditions in Ireland, but uh, they'd be the conditions that you would expect, but not really the conditions you expect 
here in Sydney for the New South Wales MPL at this time of year. Only just a week or so after Easter, one would expect, well, at least warm conditions. But uh, McGrath, Lachlan McGrath, he's back up on his feet, looking like it might be a, is it an ankle injury there? He's testing his ankle. We can see several ST Raider substitutes warming up. It looks like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna play on McGrath. Well, it was he who played the ball out. But, uh, he said that he is. Well, at the moment, he's okay to continue. He must, of course, leave the field briefly, which he is doing. And it's going to be Alex Casella to throw it back, and he sportingly throws the ball straight back to the SD Raiders. So McGrath returns to the fray and back into his, uh, his position at the center of the defense. And we go again and again. He really is hungry for work here is uh, Jonathan Sabathu calling for the ball every time. He's in a lot of space. Uh, Soleimani Bangara has come out this way to uh, to close him down. And McGrath there, looking okay, McGrath, as he plays the ball out to that far right-hand side and finds Cooper Hannigan. But uh, almost immediately given away. But one back well, one back well by ST Raiders. Tenacious in the tackle. And they have it, but uh, taking their time, Hannigan shapes for the ball, stops, pauses, comes back to his goalkeeper, Figuera, who plays it out. Right into the middle of midfield, and it's one. It's one well by Yang. Yang's got the ball out to this far, right hand side. But one again. Oh, we have a we have an injury again. Another injury. It looks like it's uh, number 21 for uh, Black Tan Spartans who's gone down. It's Alex Casella, and he's looking to be in uh, quite a bit of pain. Our match referee hasn't quite seen it yet, and the game continues. And it's a shot driven in, and a lovely save away. Well, Christian Asenben, he wasn't going to stand on ceremony and wait for our match referee to uh, stop for the injury to Alex Casella. Beautiful right footed shot. It was angling. Well, certainly it was looking like it might have nicked into that top right hand corner. But taking no chances, SD Raiders goalkeeper, Michael Figuera, gets a fingertip to it and touches it around for another corner. As the rain continues to team down here at, uh, well, I mentioned at the start, it seemed like it was the Blacktown Aquatic Centre. It's looking more and more like the Blacktown Aquatic Centre as the night progresses. It is Blacktown Football Park, but a heavy tackle there. Alex Casella, we could hear him immediately after the tackle occurred. Goes straight down, call out for help, and I'm sure again the rain is not helping him. But, uh, again, he must he must step off the field. Some attention has come on for him, and so he must step off the field, which he does now. And we're going to restart the game with a corner. Our referee. Again, it's been a good performance by Jerry Vidas so far, but uh, here we go. A loud blow of the whistle in the corner will come in from the far right-hand side. It's driven in right into the near post, but headed away. Headed away well, and then a lovely overhead kick away, and all the defenders stream out, and it's come all the way back, all the way back now to Riley Chapel, and he plays it all the way back to his goalkeeper. Chapel shapes for the ball again, plays it with his left foot forward, and it's won there quite well and quickly by the ST Raiders play forward out to this far right hand side. But it's going to be Banani who lets it run, and he does so under pressure there from Marich, but he lets the ball run out for what will be a throw in. On the far left-hand side, two black hands, still nil-nil. Not many chances in this game. The conditions playing havoc, it has to be said. But, uh, the conditions have yet to yet to cause a goal. There's been no no calamitous mistakes due to the weather conditions. But, uh, hopeful ball forward there now, but it's picked up uh, picked up at the back by the captain Pelicanos, and he plays it forward. He finds an orange and black jersey quickly, but immediately closed down. Oh, sliding tackle in there. But, uh, it's one well by. Kira and Kira's played the ball, and then was there another late tackle there? Our referee has not seen it. We've got another player down. Another player down, a sliding tackle in these wet conditions. It looks like it's Kira who's down. But uh, Black Town waiting. Well, he's back up again. He's back up again, Kira, and he's looking for space out in the far left hand side, and he's picked up the ball now. What can he do right down on this far side? Has he won a corner? No, kept in well by the ST Raiders. And they clear it away, but it's picked up, picked up almost immediately by Riley Chapel. Riley Chapel looking for Kira again. And he finds him, Kira. Looking to bulldoze his way past two defenders. Gets his way past one, but not the second. Well, he was down there on the ground. Aiden Kira looked like uh, a late sliding challenge had caught him. He'd gone to ground. He'd stayed down. A, uh, Easter week-esque recovery, though. Up he came. And uh, back into the action. And here he is now, shaping, looking for the ball, looking for the throw. Calling for at his feet. But uh, the ball is thrown down now into the fire. Left-hand side and picked up 
by the Spartans. Trying to win that corner, and they've won the corner. Out in the far right-hand side. Visibility is difficult from our vantage point now. It's difficult to see exactly who that was who'd won them the corner. But, uh, corner it will be. And it's Nysenbin who heads out. A couple of very dangerous corners from Nysenbin right in on top of our goalkeeper. Visibility a problem. A wet ball a problem. Whipped corner. And he's got his arm raised again, Nysenbin, with another whipped corner. It is whipped right into the near post and set it in there. And it's just over the bar. It was Kira who got to it first. A terrific whipped corner. From Christian Nysenbin. Whipped into that near post. But, uh, not on target and away for another goal kick which will be taken now and it's taken quickly goal kick taken by Miguel Figuera and Sabathi was under pressure immediately he's under pressure immediately from Bangara back to Bangara can't quite do enough to get the ball away from him Kira looking to pressure that SD Raiders defence again the ball has come down now this is far right hand side but it's intercepted well Pelicanos there intercepted it well under pressure from Maric but Pelicanos the Black Town Spartans captain looking very composed there. Takes a touch, holds it up, didn't play it out. And the last touch, in fact, off Maric. And so we will start with a, with a Black Town throw. And a second Black Town throw now, looking to get the ball forward. As Kira, has he made his way past the last defender? Yes, he has. In fact, the ball has made it past. Aiden Kira did not. And uh, our match referee, Jerry Bittas, again. He's very decisive with his whistle. Jerry Bidas, you're in no, there's no uncertainty as to whether a free kick is going to be awarded. And a shrill blast of the whistle again, and we'll have a free kick in a dangerous position on that left-hand side. Will it be Nysenbin flicking it in as he's done with these corners? Or will it be, uh, or will it be a left-footed? No, it looks like it's going to be Nysenbin again. Right-footed, swung in low, headed away well, though, by ST Raiders. Falls now to the edge of the box, so a heavy challenge, but uh, not an illegal one. By JCS, says our match referee. But the second challenge coming in is an illegal challenge. Well, it was a good, hard, well, fair shoulder, as we used to say back in the uh, golden days by uh, JCF, not given by our match referee. Play developed quickly. And, uh, and there was a free kick awarded, a foul back there by the Black Town Spartans. And so SD Raiders now a chance to bring the ball out from the back, which they do. They bring it forward. It's Cooper Hannigan. He's calling for it again. Hannigan, and he gets back again. Well, he almost, almost miscontrolled it there. He does miscontrol it, in fact. And uh, Kira was there, ready to swoop, but uh, the ball evaded them both. Made its way back to Figuera. He plays it long, and a chance now there to the box. SG Raiders, can they make something of the possession? No, a block away there. A great block away there by Prochevsky. He was on the scene quickly. Prochevsky to snuff out that danger, lock the ball away, and we'll have a corner. Thomas Santarossa making his way across now to the far right-hand side from our commentary position to take this corner. The rain cascading down. There'll be uh, any number of uh, descriptive phrases I can use for the rain here tonight. But it really is cascading down. And, uh, you do not envy a goalkeeper on a night like tonight. It's going to be Thomas Santarossa with his left foot now. You'd imagine to really whip this one in on top of Jacob Madden. And here it comes. Left foot shot really is whipped into that near post, but headed away well. Headed away really well by Black Town, and they bring the ball away. But one back almost immediately. Well, one back illegally by JCF. And there's a, a real swinging challenge there from Pelicanos. Didn't quite catch JCF. Could have been in a bit of trouble there if he had, but... Uh, we build now when Alex Casella down on this far side is in an absolute acre of space and calling for the ball. But, uh, he is not found. The ball was there for Suleimani Bangara. But, uh, not quite able to get a touch on the ball. A decisive touch and uh, Blacktown now have it again. Turned over possession almost, almost immediately. It's on Tarasa. He's got great support on the far right hand side. Well, it was the it was the right option, but the pass just wasn't quite right to find the support over on the far side. Well, no call of a free kick there from our match referee. The shot is driven in, and it's just away to the right-hand side. Well, the ball was picked up really well there by Riley Cox Barlow. Another shoulder. Looked like the Blacktown players paused very briefly, thinking a free kick was going to be awarded. Riley Cox Barlow did not stand on ceremony. 
drove in a low shot, a zipping low shot off the wet ground. And that, I think, was our best chance of the night, really. But away and wide, Jacob Madden didn't have to make a save. Terrific shot from Riley Cox Barlow. And we will have a goal kick as we uh, move closer to half time now. Still nil nil in our League One match of the round. Ball is played over the top now. Can they hold it up? They can. ST Raiders have held the ball up nicely. Out of the edge of the box, played out to the far right hand side. Can they get a cross in? Chance of a cross. Cross comes into the back post. Oh, it's a chance coming now here for. Oh my goodness, a late challenge there. The ball looked like it was going to drop. There was both Justin Chanfrias and Seb Malfara were right there. The ball fell for neither of them. And then a swinging tackle. It was Riley, Riley Cox Barlow, I beg your pardon. A swinging challenge there. Our referee is having a little chat to Justin Chanfrias. And uh, is he reaching for a card? It looks like he is reaching for a card. It didn't look like he was going to initially issue a card, but a little conversation. And yes, quite justified, I think. Our first yellow card of the night. JCF, a little bit of a wild swing there for the ball after it had gone. But just for a moment there, it looked like there was going to be a, a glorious chance for the SG Raiders, but the ball was cleared away well. And uh, well, it looks like it's Paolo Banani, is it? He's, he's paid for that, a very heavy challenge. Oh, I beg your pardon, it's not Paolo Banani. Let's see who it is. Well, it's Peter Pelicanos, in fact. He's got Banani beside him. It's Peter Pelicanos there, bravely away. The Blacktown Spartans, captain. And we'll restart play with, uh, with a free kick. Free kick that is well, held up in the air a little bit, but won well by Kira. Won very well in the air by Kira. He found a teammate. Found a teammate by the SD Raiders. I've won it back. Again, almost immediately, Santa Rossa. Looking for the ball there, but he's not quite been found by JCF. And it's played for, but calmly well. That was smart there from Hannigan. He looked like he was going to be a little bit of trouble, so he calmly plays the ball back there. And the goalkeeper finds Jonathan Sebo. Sebatu, he really has had a good game tonight. That's his first misstep. Sebatu, the ball just bouncing up off the surface. But he makes amends for his quick man. No, I beg your pardon. Makes amends for quickly. Easy for me to say. Finds a teammate, but again, possession is given away cheaply. It's been very difficult for either side to hold possession. And so, Banani. Banani comes forward. He finds Casella. Casella is tackled quickly by Sabathu. Quickly taken now, Banani. Out into the middle of the field. Play short. Lovely little turn there, but one back almost immediately by C Raiders. Got a little tangle in the middle of midfield. Our referee is own play go. He lets play go well. Played out to the far right hand side. And now we have an excellent chance. Ball played into the middle. Was there a little tug in the jersey there? No, there was not. It looked like JCF was going to be there. He looked like he had evaded his marker. Lovely ball across the front from the ST Raiders. Riley Cox Barlow involved again. Ball played across. JCF couldn't quite get on the end of it. And it's out for yet another goal kick, which Jacob Madden will take. Not really in any hurry. We must be now moving into the last minutes before half time. We've had a couple of injuries, a couple of stoppages. But, uh, yes, our referee, you can hear him clearly. Jerry Bittis there saying, come on, let's go. There's still a few more minutes of football to be played in this half, he thinks. And uh, can either, either of these sides break the deadlock? Still nil-nil, as we mentioned. The ball rolls back for Miguel Figuera. Plays it out to the far right-hand side. Good early pressure from the Spartans. And they're trying to box the Raiders into, the, into a corner there. And they've almost succeeded in blocking him in. But now a nice pass across. Down across the edge of the box. But it has been given away, in fact. And it's picked up by the Raiders. Can they make something of this? Uh, just before half-time. Just before half-time. No, they can't, and they've given it away. Can the Raiders break? No, the Raiders, in fact, have given it away as well. It's uh, well, really trading position. Riley Cox Barlow had it, traded it away, and it's Kira with the ball now. Down. Can he win a corner? Can he get the ball in? No, a miscontrol. Looking for the little step over there. He's won a couple of corners down now in that uh, in that same position, but uh, the step over didn't quite work for him this time, and a quickly taken goal kick, breaking from the back, breaking from the back nicely. The Raiders. They've got space. They've got time. 
But the ball is played too long. Santa Rosa again calling for the ball wide left. The ball taken out from the back well, but played again a little bit too long. The wind just catching the ball there and bringing it long. Almost Santa Rosa not able to get on the end of it. And the wind has decided that it's going to swirl around now. It's uh, given up on cascading and it's uh, taken to swirling. Again, making things very difficult for, uh, for both sets of players here tonight. And so again, another corner held, held up in the air again. Blacktown control it. They can't. Well, JCF has got the ball and he's brought it now towards the edge of the box. He's now moved into the box, held up. ST Raiders, can they make a cross count here? They've got the ball around, driven in low, but away well. Away well there by Peter Pelicanos again. Picked up at the edge of the box. Shot driven in there, and unfortunately, not enough power or accuracy on that shot driven in by the ST Raiders and a goal kick taken quickly. And out they come. Well, the referee. His whistle there, yes, with some excellent pressure there from Helmarich. And he's uh, forced to miscontrol by Blackstone Spartans. And they now have a chance. In the uh, last moments now, you would imagine, of this first half. Can the Raiders get on the score sheet? Marich again, looking, moving for the ball, calling for it. Doesn't get it. Well, he gets it on the second attempt, in fact, does he? No, here he is, Marich now, trying to get the ball at the edge of the box. But again, the wind just catches the ball and takes it. And it's out. For a goal kick, will they take it quickly? They do. Black Town have taken the goal kick quickly. Dinged forward. Up in the air, a little contest for it in the ball. For in the air, I should say. And the Raiders now driving up towards the edge of this box. Looking for a free kick, not given. Played out to the far right hand side. Have they got a chance to drive the ball in now? Just as we approach half time, driven up over the goalkeeper's head. Well, it looked like the goalkeeper was caught out just for a moment there. A flailing arm went up. I don't think our goalkeeper Jacob Madden had that one covered ball coming in from the far right hand side. Roddy Cox Barlow, I think it was, with the uh, cross come shot, but it sailed over the goalkeeper's head. And out of play. The goal kick taken quickly. And SG Raiders have got the ball now on the edge of the box. And a chance for a shot. Shot driven in. Shot driven in by Roddy Cox Barlow. A little pass that found him from JCF. Riley Cox Barlow, he's really been in the game now this last 15, 20 minutes. Syncing up well with Justin Chanfrias. It was a nice little touch. The ball set up nicely for a shot. But it couldn't quite control it. And it's gone out again for these last few minutes. You have to say the umpteenth goal kick that we've had. Back down looking to play the ball away in really a dangerous area. And they have given up the ball in a very dangerous area. But miscontrolled. Well, what is our assistant referee going to give? He's going to give a throw in. To Blacktown, our referee has looked at his watch a couple of times. You've got to think Blacktown, who will have the elements in their favour in the second half, would be happy for the whistle to blow. And look how deep, look how deep he has to come to get the ball. Aiden Kira has played the ball out to this near side from our position. And out, unable to be kept in play. It was a difficult one there for Alex Casella. Couldn't quite keep it in play. And uh, one last chance, it appears, before we get to half time. Jonathan Sabatu is going to take the throw and he throws it well, he throws it back. He imagine he was going to throw it forward. He finds Cooper Hannigan. And again, the referee, a long, hard look at his watch. Cooper Hannigan has got the ball there. He flicks it forward to Sabatu. Sabatu forward. A nice little bit of play here now, right down at the end of the half. The cross is going to come in. It's a left foot cross that comes in. A great left foot cross that comes in. Riley Cox Barlow had the goal at his mercy. It was Thomas Santa Rosa with the cross. There looked to be a lot of the goal to aim at there for Riley Cox Barlow. Jacob Madden frozen in time. And he was absolutely delighted to see the ball go out of play there. We stay at nil-nil. Referee making his way into the center circle. As uh, they often do when they're about to blow for half time. But we nearly had a dramatic conclusion to the first half there. Some lovely interplay. Jonathan Sabatu finding Thomas Santa Rosa down the right, down the left, I should say. Crossed in Riley Cox Barlow with a really great chance to score, but the ball trickled out and wide. Well, no halftime whistle yet. We continue on. We continue on. We'll continue on with a throw in out on the far right hand side. Charlie Rag takes it quickly and he gets a touch and gets the ball back again. Nick is easy with the touch. Uh, Seb Malfar, I beg your pardon, with the touch. And it's come out now to this left-hand side. 
And here is Nick Azizi, but uh, can't quite control it, Nick. Just escapes him. Kira has the ball, and Azizi wins it back well. Wins it back well. Oh, lovely little touch there. Really, he's been the player of the match in this first half, you would have to say. Jonathan Sabasu. Lots of touches. Eager for the ball. Calling, making good runs. Speaking of good runs, there was a great run being made there by Riley Cox Barlow with the pass again, as has happened numerous times in this half. Just a little bit too much pepper on the pass, and it, uh, it evades Riley Cox Barlow and comes safely into the arms of Jacob Madden. SG Raiders, they build again from the back. It's Cooper Hannigan. Pausing, looking for options. Well, he does well there. Takes the ball forward. There's no one in front of him. And he takes it forward. Little ding forward, but cut out well there. Cut out well by Banani. The danger was in behind him, but he cut the ball out really well there, Banani. And now play forward. Hopeful ball, but one in the air well. By Hannigan. Can Kira make it his own? It's a great tussle here now on this far side. On this near side, I beg your pardon. One by Casella. Casella's got the ball. Back for Banani. We still play on. Banani getting a short ball back. Turning, coming forward now. Christian Nasenbun. Christian Nasenbun. He finds Bangura. Bangura to Kira. Kira, well, what looked for a moment like an innocuous challenge, in fact, is going to be a free kick. Aiden Kira just a little nick of the ball away from the outstretched leg of uh, Jonathan Sabaku. And we're going to have a free kick. Maybe about 10 meters from the edge of the box. It's number 22, Christian Nasenbun. Looks like he's going to take this with his right foot. Would he have a little cheeky shot here? There's uh, quite a lot of the goal to aim at, but uh, you'd imagine the percentage play here is the uh, chip in, and the ball is chipped in, and it's headed in, but uh, not enough power on the header there. It's headed in towards the goal, but uh, comfortably picked up by Michael Figuera. And he bowls it out to the far right-hand side. The Stu Raiders pause, play it back inside inside and they're driving forward now well, it's a lovely always oh, a lovely run forward a lovely run forward there by Seb Malfara and uh, well a uh, professional style foul you would have to call that uh, as we reach the last couple of minutes of the half uh, there was no way he was going to make it through and it was uh, it was Yang I believe the number eight who uh, took the yellow card as uh, as they say a straight yellow for Yang there, no doubt about it. And no doubt from our match referee, Jerry Bittes, brandished the yellow almost immediately. And again, a good decision from our match referee. He's got pretty much everything right so far, you have to say. But now, speaking of getting things right, can the Raiders get it right? Just as we approach half time. There's a chance for a shot just on the edge of the box. He's clipped it across. Clipped it across, held up on the edge of the box now. Dinked up to the back post. And away and out. Well, it was JCF who had a great chance for a shot. He found Santa Rosa on the left-hand side. And you can hear some voices from the sideline encouraging JCF to have had a shot there. Really had some space in front of him. Chose to dink it to Santa Rosa, who was on his left-hand side. Santa Rosa around the back. Dinked it up to the back post, but uh, nobody there to get on the end of it. And away it went. Away and out for... A goal kick, which will be taken now by Jacob Madden. And it's going to land almost right on halfway, you would think. Yes, it lands right on halfway. One in the air by the Raiders. And they play the ball forward. Riley Cox Barlow looking to get in the end of it. Causing a nuisance himself. Riley Cox Barlow, can he get in the end of it? Not quite well. Jamie Perchewski there with the header that put his goalkeeper in trouble for, well, a millisecond. It looked like uh, Riley Cox Barlow was going to just get on the end of it, get a little touch on it. He was not able to uh, not able to get a touch on it. And the goal kick has gone out. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a throw in. We approach the halfway line. Well he's still in a good ten meters there. Has Sabathu. And those ten meters are gonna come in very handy now because Santa Ross has got the ball on the left hand side. Can he get a cross in? He gets a terrific cross into the back post. Picked up on that far side. Picked up pretty well by Marich. Marich doing almost a full circle back around, finds a colleague. Looking to shape for a shot. Ball is going to mount now to this near side. It's Sabathi. What can he do? He drives in a low shot. Well, it was half shot, half cross from Sabathi. When it ended up kind of being neither in the end. And picked up, uh, you'd have to say, comfortably. 
by Jacob Madden. And Jacob Madden bowls it out now to Banani. And Banani plays it forward, but intercepted well. And it falls to Nick Azizi. Nick Azizi finds a short pass. Lovely little play, Azizi. Can he keep it in play? He can. Can he find JCF? He can't. JCF looking to get around the last defender there. Well, Banani did a really good job. Paolo Banani, the last line of defence there, did a really good job. JCF looked like he was going to cut through and give himself a, a glorious chance on goal. But, uh, well, calmly played there, you have to say, out from the back. Well, it's Prochevsky, Prochevsky. Long ball forward. It's going to be held up by Kieran. Well, a little flick forward, in fact. And it's Bangara, Bangara. And Sabathu again in competition. It's been a good little contest between those two. To played out comfortably by Sabathu. And Bangura has got it. The ball is gone. Well, that's the second ball now that's gone over the far side here. It's treacherous conditions to try and jump over that fence. And so they've uh, quite wisely called for a ball from the far side. It's going to be Alex Casella. Takes this throw in. Casella with the throw in. He's got it. He's got it back again. Casella now. Can he get a cross in? Right foot across into the box. Headed away. Picked up on the edge of the box. Tackled well, though. Tackled well by the Raiders. And can they break away? Well, they've got two, three players driving forward now down the far right-hand side. It's a lovely ball forward. Is it a little bit too far? It's Marich again. Can Marich get on the end of that? No, just a little bit too much pepper on that pass, but a great run from Marich. Nice little interchange from pass. Uh, nice, little, nice little interchange of passing there, I should say. Turning uh, defence into attack. And there is our half-time whistle that we've been expecting for some time. And our referee, Jerry Bidass, brings proceedings to an end. The rain, in fact, has eased a little bit. As we approach half time, and uh, chances at both ends, no real clear cut chances, it has to be said. A couple of half chances to both teams, a couple of shots on goal, and uh, scores being level is probably a fair result. And so, as we go into the half time break, it's uh, the home side, the Black Town Spartans nil, the away side, the SD Raiders nil.
Well, you're very welcome back to the Blacktown Aquatic Centre. David Feeney here on the microphone with uh, Chester uh, on camera. It's uh, a treacherous night here, and if anything, conditions have, I'm not sure it's possible, but conditions have worsened during the halftime break. The wind has really gotten up. The wind will be in favour of the Blacktown Spartans in this uh, second half, which is just about to kick off. Our referee, Jerry Bidas, just uh, getting things going, and away we go. In this second half, and straight away, Black Chance Spartans playing the ball forward. They will have the wind with them in this uh, in this second half. Can they take advantage of it? Nil-nil, of course. After uh, a first half, it wasn't really full of events, but uh, full of endeavour certainly. But uh, not not too much go out there. Uh, not too much go out action. Now can we change that? Right at the start of the second half, chance for a shot straight away. Chance for a shot straight away, driven in there. It's Riley Cox Barlow, and he has driven the ball right and wide. And so we will have a goal kick now to the Blacktown Spartans. Jacob Madden to take it. And you can see the difference the wind makes now. That ball is driven all the way into the uh, SD Raiders half. By our goalkeeper, Madden. Ball played down the right-hand side now. It's uh, spun away and out. Little collision there off the ball. Accidental collision there off the ball. Jamie Prochewski colliding with uh, Jonathan Sabathu. And Sabathu will take this uh, throw in. But the ball is held up in the air. Oh, a high foot there, was there? No, not given. A high foot there. Appeal from Ronnie Cox Barlow looking for a high foot, but uh, not given. Not given by Jerry Butas. And we'll have a throw in. On this near side, just down below our commentary position here, in what's known as the container at the uh, Blacktown Aquatic Centre. Ball played forward now, picked up, picked up well by Charlie Rag, right in the middle of the defence there. And he plays the ball out to his left hand side, driven in towards the box. Well, and uh, improvised clearance there, excellent improvised clearance, you have to say, from, uh, from the Spartans. And it's Sabathu, Sabathu, a floating cross into the box, punched away well. Punched away well to safety. And it's uh, Maric again. Maric, can he get the cross in? Maric get the cross in. Flicked on and flicked over the bar. Well, that's the best chance we've had so far. Maric down the right-hand side. Gets a terrific cross in. Flicked on, flicked up into the air. Just over the bar there. And it's just over the bar by the ST Raiders with the, uh, well, the best chance of the game so far, you have to say over the bar it went and so we stay at, uh, we stay at nil nil and it's the substitute we didn't get any substitution announcements at half time but it was the substitute it's Jude Clare with that chance a glorious chance to open the scoring Jude Clare has come on at half time for the SD Raiders as I said the conditions are dreadful here and so uh, the announcements didn't make their way to us so Jude Clare he is on he was the one who had the chance to open the scoring, but over the bar it went. And now Cooper Hannigan getting the ball, plays it back to Figuera. Figuera gets a second chance and with great pressure there from Bangara. Looked like he'd uh, stolen the ball away, but uh, away well and a little miscommunication there. Miscommunication there between Riley Chapel. And uh, Christian Nasenbin couldn't quite get uh, get their communication going. Was that a high foot? No, the referee says play on. Play on, he says. Really, tackles flying in now. There are two, three, four tackles absolutely flying in. And the last of those tackles, the referee said, no, that's uh, one tackle too many. Young Min Yang. Young Min Yang with the, uh, just left the foot in there and uh, referees awarded a free kick. But it's given away almost immediately. Chance for a shot from halfway. Well, the ball was given away immediately to Christian Nason, but he's got the elements with him. He looked up, he saw the goalkeeper, well, 18 to 20 yards off his line. Didn't quite catch the ball properly there, Nason, but had he caught the ball there, he had a chance for an outrageously good goal, but uh, not to be. Not to be. Now, ball over the top. Held up nicely. Held up nicely by Marcic. Takes the ball back inside, holds it up well. Again, Marcic. 
Again, calls for the ball and he gets it. But uh, not enough, not enough on the pass. And finds its way to Sabathu. Sabathu finds support, chipped over the top. There's a chance here for Aziz. No, Aziz, he looked like he was in on the ball there. But, uh, couldn't quite get on the end of it there. Nick Aziz. Oh, more chances uh, against the elements here for uh, for the SG Raiders, certainly than the Black Chance Spartans had in the first half. But, uh, we remain at nil-nil. Approaching five minutes gone in this first half. In fact, five minutes gone in this first half. Marcic just stolen off his toe. Oh, but what in well there. What in well by Sabathi when he plays it down the line here. Ball picked up well. Riley Cox Barlow, who can he find? Plays it into the middle. Oh, little chance to get it away. Chance for a shot. Headed it away really well. And again, the substitute due to Clare with another great chance. Ball has fallen again. The ball just can't be cleared there by the Black Town Spartans. It's fallen well for Justin Chanfreas. It looked like he'd made a little, a little inch for himself inside the box. But he had not. And now Aiden Kira, well, a sliding tackle from behind. But the ball was won. No fouls as our match referee. Ball played across the edge of the box. Can it be taken? He swapped sides there really well. Has Marcic. Marcic with the ball. He's kept it in play. Chance for a shot. Shot driven in. Saved away and kept in play well. In fact, it looked like it was going to be knocked out for a corner. But no. He got quickly. Jacob Madden. And he's played the ball well and bowled it out now. Chance for Blacktown to break. A little touch on there. Can they keep the ball in play? They can. They cannot. In fact, it looked for a moment as though they kept the ball in play. By number seven, Riley Chapel. But uh, no, the ball had just crept out. The ball had just crept out. And now it's Seb Malfara spreading the ball out to the far side. Can the substitute get on the end of it? No, Judah Clare. We've called his name so many times already. He's only just been on the field five minutes, but he's been right into the action. A chance, a half chance. Looking to win the ball there, but uh, not to be. Goal kick. Still nil nil. Now here we come, playing it out from the back. What will they do? They'll decide to play it long. They really do have the elements with them. Flicked up in the air. Chance to pick it up. What can they make of it? Riley Chapel. Riley Chapel finds Kara. But an offside flag is up. Riley Chapel. Cut inside well there, looked like he'd found Aiden Kira. But uh, our assistant referee on the far side said no. But, uh, Aiden Kira, who has been the goal threat throughout this season for the Blacktown Spartans, had, uh, drifted into an offside position there, and so a free kick awarded. Lovely calm play there in the middle of the field. Pelicanos, lovely composure, stopped, paused, looked up, found a teammate. Ball played over the top, but cut out, cut out comfortably by the SD Raiders, and they can break down now this left-hand side. A little bit of pace, a little bit of skill, always come inside, but Clary's been in absolutely everything so far. Ball down the left-hand side, but he did so well there. Clary beat two players. There's appeal for handball not given. He moved into some space, looked to play it down the left-hand flank there, looking to find a teammate, but uh, couldn't quite find the pass. It was JCF who'd made his way down into that left-hand corner, looking for the pass. And he's got Riley Cox Barlow in support down there, but uh, the pass just couldn't quite find him. And we restart with, uh, with a throw-in. Ball won by the Raiders, played back right up to the edge of the box. Can they pick it up? Can they shape for a shot? It's Marcic again, Marcic. Can't quite find the pass, but given away almost immediately. SD Raiders, they really are building now in possession. But, uh, they have lost it, Nasenbin. Nasenbin finds support nicely now. Here they come and they can break away. They can break away down this left-hand side. Well, there's a hand on the uh, hand on the shoulder there, but not given. Nice little breakaway there. It's Daniel Arujo. Looked like he broke it into some open space. Plays the ball back now, Chapel. Chapel to Pelicanos. Pelicanos to Brachevsky. Ball now finds Arujo down on this left-hand side. He cuts inside Arujo. What can he make of this? Can he shape for a shot? He's got some support just on the far right-hand side. He was looking to find that support, but... Uh, one back, one back well by the ST Raiders. JCF, can it be kept in play? Not according to our sideline official here. It's going to be a throw in on this near left hand side. It's Riley Chapel who's going to take it. Both sides really seem to have upped the ante a little bit here. Really pressing to try and get this first goal. 
And with the way both of these teams have been playing in the last few weeks, one goal might just be enough on a treacherous night here at uh, Blacktown Football Park. Lovely turn inside. Arujo, there was a foul there. The referee's going to play an advantage. He's going to play a good advantage, in fact, here, the referee. A good advantage played. Chance to Blacktown to get on the end of it. Well, a great advantage there played, you have to say, by Jerry Bittes. It was definitely a foul. He was going to give it. He looked up. He saw the Blacktown Spartans. Had a bit of space. Had a chance in front of them. And so we let play go on. Excellent refereeing there. And uh, it's going to be a throw-in. It is a throw-in, in fact, to, to Blacktown. Well, the ball is still in play. Just trickles out there. Both sides look to have left the ball. It looked like it trickled out of play. Both sides left it. And eventually, the conditions won out in the end. And uh, it's going to be, and it is, a goal kick that's taken quickly. Back to Miguel Figuera. Figuera out to the left-hand side. Played inside now. Can they bring it forward? Seb Malfara. Malfara looking to spread it out to this near. Right-hand side. But again, the wind just catches the ball and it drifts away from Jonathan Sabathu. He goes back to uh, Riga in his spot at the back. Excellent covering header there from Cooper Hannigan. Just for a moment, it looked like uh, looked like there was going to be some space there for Daniel Arujo. But uh, Hannigan did well. And he's won it. And now Blacktown. What can they do with Yang? Plays the ball down into some space. And it's Arujo who puts pressure on. Will he let the ball run out? Well, that is excellent defending there by Cooper Hannigan. Shaped to play it, just did enough to uh, put Daniel Arujo off, shaped again, then let the ball run out. Excellent defending there, you have to say, from Cooper Hannigan. He's been very solid at the back. And Figuera takes again. SD Raiders looking to build from the back. Oh my goodness me, he just evades Arujo there. It looked like for a moment Arujo was going to steal the ball away from uh, Charlie Rag, I believe it was. Now here comes Hannigan, breaking forward, looking to find some space, can't find any space. Well, the ball has hit our match referee again for a second time tonight, unfortunately. Tried to jump out of the way, couldn't quite get there in time. Jerry Bittas, and uh, we restart with the, uh, a drop ball as such, just thrown back, picked up by Perchewski. Perchewski finds a teammate who plays it long, and it's down again to Figuera. They're looking to use the elements here. Black Town Spartans. They've got a relatively strong win with them. And they're looking to use it. And uh, conversely, they're looking to box SD Raiders back in when they've got the ball down. Near their own half, near their own goal, I should say. Now played long. One in the air. Towering header in the air there. One. A towering header. And then a little delicate header there. Look, showing two great sides to his game there. A towering header and then a delicate header played at the back there. Excellent defending from Perchevsky. partner was Pelicanos, my apologies Peter Pelicanos there, wins it again and finds a teammate finds a teammate who breaks forward, it's Bangara what can Bangara do, he's closed down almost immediately Bangara, almost immediately and SD Raiders do well, they've got the ball, they've won it back Seb Malfara, and Malfara is fouled and he plays a free kick quickly, Malfara out to the left hand side, it's a substitute clear oh lovely turn, lovely turn from Clare can he make it past him a second time, he can but not a third time, well not a third time because of some uh, nefarious activity it was Banani who looked like he'd been beaten once but fought back looked like he'd been beaten a second time fought back a third time couldn't quite hold off Judah Clare good defending there from Paolo Banani on the first two occasions but uh, not on the third says our match referee and it'll be a free kick now on the far left hand side from our commentary position it's going to be a left footed free kick it seems driven in a bit of a zonal marking situation going on at the back there for Blacktown. They're just picking up men, just covering a zone. And the header comes in there. That zonal defence didn't really work at all. It was Judah Clare yet again drifting into the box. Blacktown Spartans had set up a, a five-man zone just to, around about the six-yard box and just to the left and right of it. A late run from Clare. The zone did not pick it up. The zone held its line and Clare got there first. A little glancing header. But over the bar, and we stay at nil-nil. That's a fantastic long goal kick. The elements really assisting the goalkeeper there. It's going to be a throw-in. It's going to be a throw-in on this near left-hand side. Taken quickly, but uh, one immediately. And while our assistant referee is flagging to say that the ball has gone out of play, it's going to be Riley Chapel on this left-hand side. He's going to take this throw, and he takes it quickly. He finds Yang, Yang back to Chapel. 
Chapel holding up the ball nicely, looking to find some support. He finds Arujo. Arujo with a lovely little back heel there to find Yang. Yang, can he get across it with the right foot? He can indeed. It goes into the box. Cleared away well, though. Cleared away well. Looking for Kira in the box, but he couldn't find him. No chance to break away. Chance to break away for the Raiders. But a little miscontrol there by Riley Cox Barlow. Can't quite hold up the ball. And Blacktown win it back with Yang. Yang to Arujo. Arujo into space. It's Chapel. Chapel driving forward now. He's got options. He's got two options in the box. An early ball there. He finds neither of the two options that were making their way into the box. And it was cleared away well by Sabathu. Cleared away well. What a little two SD Raiders players tackling each other. But now they come forward. It's easy. Azizi's got the ball. Can he shape for a shot? He shapes for a cross. It's one back though. And it's uh, Marcic who's got the ball. Marcic finds Azizi. Is the flag up? No, no flag, says our assistant referee. Azizi looking to dink past the last two defenders. He can't. The ball is given away well, relatively cheaply, you'd have to say. And it's picked up. The attack's coming thick and strong now. Malfara. Well, he looked like he was going to leave the leg in there just for a moment, said Malfara. He thought better of it. Wisely pulled out of the tackle. So, no free kick and no cards. That was wise. Wise from Alfara. But now, here comes Judah Clare down that far side. Well, I beg your pardon. It's Justin Chanfrey. That's a great run down the left hand side. And uh, it looked like he was into a little bit of space. And a free kick is given. A terrific run down that left hand side. But he was checked. Checked in his run. And it's going to be a free kick now. Again on that far, far left hand side. Free kick to the SD Raiders, and they're really dominated possessions, and they've dominated chances now in these last five, ten minutes, you would have to say. And it's going to be a right-footed, right-footed free kick, whipped in. Weather conditions very important tonight. They really are changing every couple of minutes. The rain has eased off. The wind appears to have eased off. And it's a sort of a misty rain now that's drifting across the face of. Uh, Face of Jacob Madden. And he's screaming at his defenders to, uh, to pick up players. Here comes the free kick now. Driven in. It's a looping free kick. It's held up in the air. Cleared away well. Cleared away well by the Spartans. And Cooper Hannigan heads it back. Back from where it came from. It's now going to drift out. And it's uh, number 24, Nick Gazizi, who's going to take the throw in. And he takes it quickly and finds Cooper Hannigan. He's going to be pressurized now by Arujo. And the goalkeeper is going to be pressured as well is pressured by Kira. So Blacktown have won the ball back quickly, but Raiders win it back very quickly. And it's Marcic again. Marcic has been all over this game tonight. Ball played forward. But controlled, controlled relatively comfortably by Bonani. And now back to this near left-hand side, running Chapel again. He's looked dangerous, dangerous in possession. And he finds Arujo. Arujo, can he find Kira? Finds a lovely pass for Kira, but can't quite get on the end of it. Nice little interplay. That's the best little bit of interplay we've seen for Blacktown for a couple of minutes. Chapel, Arujo, little ball into Kira, the danger man. And it's Kira who chases back, chases back hard to win the ball. Puts great pressure on the ST Raiders, but they've managed to hold possession. Brought it out to this far right hand side. It's Marcic cutting inside. Marcic with the ball across the face of the box, deflected up in the air. Oh, he's made it back there, has he? Well, the referee is not given a free kick. Looked like JCF. Had... Looked like JCF had made it back. There was no foul given. The shot came in from substitute Judah Clare. And our goalkeeper has managed to scramble the ball away. Well, it really looked like there had been a foul there from JCF. You have to say, the Blacktown players looked like they had paused for a moment. No pausing from JCF. He found Judah Clare, the shot came in, but blocked away by Jacob Madden, and that was certainly the best chance we've had in this second half. And we're going to have a corner now. Corner will be driven in from the far right-hand side. And it's driven into the near post, headed up in the air. Goalkeeper comes to collect. Well, it's a weak punch. He gets a second punch. He's still chasing the ball, the goalkeeper. Well, the goalkeeper came right to the edge of the box there. There was two punches. Just did enough to get it away, and now Nick Azizi has got it. What can Azizi do? A lovely little turn. Two little turns from Azizi. And no, he's lost the ball now. He's lost the ball, and it's Chapel. He brings it away. And he finds Bangara. Bangara. Can he find Chapel? Oh, it's a great tackle. Chapel. Chapel has gone down injured. He's called out loudly. Chapel, an ankle injury there. But, uh, our referee says no. Let's play on. These are the rules these days. You play on unless it's a, unless it's a head injury. He 
And so it's uh, possession still with the uh, with the ST Raiders, and they bring it out now to this far. A big point to this near side. And it's picked up well. Sabathi, does it take a touch? It does take a little touch. In fact, it doesn't. It's going to be a throw in. It's a difficult vantage point for us to get to from uh, from where we are here in the uh, container, as it's called, the commentary position. The ball is down right in the far the far left hand side from a uh, from an ST Raiders point of view. And here comes the throw. Chapel will take. He seems to have recovered from that injury. Takes the ball now. Kira, very strong, holds the ball up really well, and finds a teammate in space. Well, pulled back there. Absolutely pull back there, and it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a free kick now. Black Chance Spartans, and it's taken quickly, driven over the top. Can the Spartans keep the ball in play on that far right hand side? Well, it is kept in play really well. But is there going to be a free kick there? Well, it was initially kept in play really well by the Black Chance Spartans, but then chasing back, looking to get looking to get back into possession, couldn't quite get it. Substitute for the Black Town Spartans. As we pause for a moment. Let's see if JCS can get that. JCF, I beg your pardon. Ball is played wrong. Cooper Hannigan. Oh, very calm from Hannigan there. He did really well. Held off Aiden Kira. And a little bit of head tennis results now in a throw in. It's going to be Marcic to take it. Well, no, in fact, he passes it off to Sabathu. Sabathu is going to take it. Oh, lovely little touch inside. Lovely little touch inside by JCF. And it's Marcic driving forward. And he's got space outside him. He's got support. He's got Clear. Clear. Dancing feet. Chance for a shot with the left foot. Driven across. Well, it's cleared away well by the Black Town Spartans. Clear. Can he get it back a second time? Oh, my goodness me. That looked for a moment as though a penalty kick was going to be awarded. Judah Clear went down. It was a swinging leg, you have to say, from the Blacktown Spartans there. Judah Clare went down under the challenge. The whistle went. Looked for a moment as though a penalty was going to be awarded. But no penalty awarded. And we stay at nil-nil. We stay at nil-nil. Now back to live play. Ball is played down now, this left-hand side. Riley Chapel, can he get onto it? Well, he cannot get onto it because Jonathan Sabathu has chased a good 30 metres there to get back and play the ball out really well for a throw, which is taken quickly, but given away again. And Kira's got the ball now. Just edge of the box, Kira. Oh, a little dinged pass inside. That was a lovely little delicate pass in. Looking to find Chapel. Now we've got a substitution to report. Number 23, Will DiMartino is on. 23, Will DiMartino has joined the fray for the Blacktown Spartans. And he is playing now out of this far right-hand side, and here he is. Will DiMartino, and he will take the throw in. And he takes it right to the edge of the box. That's Kira. Kira gets a little touch on. He was looking to regather his own touch, Aiden Kira. Couldn't quite get on the end of it. And the ball is back now. Right at the back. Cooper Hannigan plays it out to the left hand side played forward into the centre of the centre of the midfield Riley Cox Barler looking to win it couldn't quite get to it and uh, it's still a little bit scrappy there oh that's a beautiful turn that's a beautiful turn there by our substitute Will Di Martino and he gets the ball again Di Martino jinx the ball into the box it's a little touch there there's a chance for a goal great save chance for Kira Blocked away and cleared away. Well, the best chance the Black Town have had in this half. It was Suleiman Bangara with a great chance. Blocked. The ball fell to Aiden Kira, who was a goal threat all season. Couldn't quite get hold of the ball. Blocked away by a defender. Away it goes. Away it goes. And we stay at nil nil. Somehow we stay at nil nil. Now here's another couple of substitutions. It's Justin Chan Fryas making way. And we've got two attackers. Making their way on for the ST Raiders. We'll get those substitutions for you in just a moment. And it's 
to number 14. Well, it's Noah Kianese. Noah Kianese has made his way on now for the ST Raiders. Number 14, he is the goal threat for the ST Raiders. He is the only man, in fact, who has scored a goal for them in the last four matches. And, in fact, he scored their last three goals. Kianese has missed the last couple of games. But he's out there now, number 14, Kianese. Justin Chanfries has made his way off. And let's see what 14 Kianese can do. Can he be the person that uh, gets the goal? We've said it almost from the outset. Will one goal be enough to win this match? Will Kianese be the person who gets that single goal to win the match? Let's see what he can do. Now driving forward the Raiders. A little touch from substitute Judah Clare, but intercepted, intercepted away. And now ball over the top, ball over the top, but no, the ball over the top. Kira had come short, and the ball went long. And Sabathu, Sabathu comes again, finds Kianese. Kianese with a short ball inside, but it's cleared away, cleared away really well there. Surely a free kick there, right in front of us. Well, no free kick given. It looked like Sabathu had... Uh, Looks like Sabathu had, uh, had, well, a yellow card almost immediately, straight away. Another one of the substitutions that's come on here for the SD Raiders. He's chased back. He's made a good tackle. It's JT Fernandez. It's JT Fernandez. And within almost two minutes of coming on as a substitute, JT Fernandez has found his way into our referee's notebook, Jerry Bittas. Hear the teammates saying Aiden, 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 calling for a pass. He's held the ball up really well, chipped up to the back post, but away it was Will Martino who chipped it up to the back post there. But uh, held up nicely by Kira. And confirmation of our second substitute that came on, it was JT Hernandez, so Noah Kianese and JT Hernandez both on the field now. Looking to make an impact. Kianese, oh well, a little bit of ring rust there perhaps from Kianese. Wasn't quite able to uh, catch the pass there. And it's Chapel who'll take the throw in. Chapel who finds Kira. Kira not quite able to retain possession there. And away the ball goes. It's a little bit scrappy back there. It has to be said, no one really able to get their foot in the ball. Kianese, well, it looked like it was a handball. Yes, uh, appealing for a handball there, but uh, no handball. And in fact, yes, a free kick. Well, it looked like a quite blatant handball there. But uh, from our position, we could actually see that uh, our referee, Jerry Bittes, was blindsided. There was two players blocking his view. And uh, Noah Kianese's handball goes unpunished. And uh, the ball went down. The right-hand side here. Flick forward by ST Raiders. A late tackle. And so we will have a free kick. Thomas Santarossa is going to take. Looks like he's shaping to tape it with his... Uh, with his left foot. Jacob Madden right out on the edge of his six-yard box. Santa Rosa. We look for Kianese. He does look for Kianese. Oh, it's bounced up off the hand. No free kick given by our referee. No penalty, I should say, given by our referee. The ball really looked like it had bounced up off, uh, off this wet surface. Curled in there nicely by Judah Clare coming out to this side, this right-hand side. But picked up well by Madden. And Madden plays it long, looking for Kira. Can Kira get the end of it? Well, the wind really caught the ball there, and the ball has drifted away and out. Out for a goal kick, just as that ball was hit by goalkeeper Jacob Madden. The wind really got up, and the rain driving now from right to left. It seemed to be supporting the Black Ten Spartans, but it didn't help them on that occasion. And now a ball over the top. Over the top and held up nicely. ST Ray's lovely little back heel there. That was a lovely little back heel there by Riley Cox Barlow. But uh, didn't quite find a teammate. And now uh, Kianese comes back, wins the ball. Sabathu plays it forward, headed well away. Headed well away. Kira, he lets the ball bounce nicely over his head, uses his weight and his strength really well. And holds off a second defender, plays a left footed shot in there, trying to use the elements to good effect. Clever little option there from Aiden Kira. Saw the keeper off his line, knew he had the elements with him, left footed shot. But. Uh, not quite enough to uh, beat the keeper, and uh, we stay. We stay deadlocked at nil-nil. Hannigan down the line gives it away, though. Only momentarily. Kianese wins it. 
looks to play the ball out to the far left hand side for Clare. And Clare has picked it up well. And he's found a teammate. And now it's back for Kianese. What can Kianese do? Oh, he finds a lovely little pass now out in this right hand side. Can Marchish get the end of it? No, terrific defending. Terrific defending. Marchish looked like he was going to get on the end of it there, but terrific defending by the Spartans. A little bit of class from Kianese though. Hold the ball up nicely. Looked up into space. Lot of a lovely pass. And now the throw comes in right to the edge of the box. Marcic back. Sabathu crosses it in, headed away nicely. But it's come out now on the far left-hand side. It's driven in. Driven in there for the far left-hand side. But, uh, no danger, cleared away well. And not for the first time. It's Sabathu back to the goalkeeper. Oh my goodness me, he nearly miscontrolled that. Against the elements, Kira looked like he was going to be in there. But uh, a chance for a shot now. There, here comes a shot. Right-footed shot. Drifts up and over the bar. It was Yang. He had time and a little bit of space. The ST Raiders defense had just dropped off and momentarily. Yang, he looked up. He saw that a shot really was the best option. He took the option of the shot. But over the bar it went. Over the bar it went. Just past the half hour mark now in this second half. And uh, still, nil nil. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear it from here, but uh, a little interaction there. Miguel Figuera copping it from Seb Malfara. Please slow down, I will paraphrase what he said. That's not exactly what he said, but please slow it down. Don't go so fast. I would be delighted if you would go a bit slower next time. Words to that effect. But uh, now can Blacktown, Spartans, make them pay? Doesn't look like they can. Well, they've won the ball back almost immediately. Little ball down into the corner. Picked up nicely there, though. Picked up nicely by Malfara. And he drives it forward. Only as far as Pelicanos. Who wins the ball. Pelicanos now driving forward, all running into these elements now. It's very difficult running these elements. But it's Claire. Claire, he's held back. He is definitely held back there. Just on the edge of the box, though. Now, what kind of a color card is our referee going to reach for here? Just on the edge of the box. It's only a yellow card. Well, well, well. It was a great break from Judah Clare. It looked like he was in on goal. It did not look like there were any other defenders there. I believe it was Will Martino who pulled him back just before he made it into the box and that I think is the exact conversation that is happening now Seb Malfara in a well I'm not sure if it's a heated conversation but it's a vigorous conversation well it is a heated conversation in fact because match referee Jerry Bittas is encouraging him to step away I've awarded a free kick he says step away but uh, well other on other occasions we've certainly seen red cards be issued for that, what seemed again like a very professional foul right on the edge of the box. There were no other defenders behind. But our match referee, Jerry Bittas, again, he's been very decisive in all his decision making. And he has awarded a free kick right on the edge of the box. Free kick to the ST Raiders. A great chance now to break the deadlock. Here comes the free kick. It's driven in. Oh, it's a whisker away. It is an absolute whisker away. Oh, that right hand post as we're looking at it it was a terrific free kick but a whisker away it was the number 10 it was JT Fernandez JT Fernandez we got a little altercation now in the middle of the field a little altercation in the middle of the field and it's Malfara Malfara is still not best pleased about that decision it would appear Malfara with Suleiman Bangara and our referee again coming in Encouraging Seb Malfara to just cool his jets a little bit there. He's walking a very fine line. And here we go now with our goal kick. One well by Kianese in the air. Terrific win. We could hear that from here. Well, again, it's a bit of head tennis. Contested well in the air, both sides. Vigorously contesting the ball. A bit of high foot there, though, that time it looked like from Pelicanos. And it also caught his hand after the high foot. Now... The referee's had enough. The referee's had enough. He's bringing both players across. Both of you come here, he says. It's Suleimani Bangara. It's Seb Malfara. And the referee is just laying down the law now. Jerry Bittas just, yeah, asking to pause for one moment. Asking Cooper Hannigan to pause for a moment. Good refereeing, you have to say there. No cards issued. A strong word to both players.
that's enough of that. Any more rubbish like that, and he'll be going into my book. He really has had a good game tonight, Jerry Bittas, you have to say. And so it's going to be Cooper Hannigan now, lofting this free kick up to the penalty spot. Oh, it's punched away. Punched away, well driven back in, and over the bar. Well, the goalkeeper, not for the first time tonight, Jacob Madden has come. He's punched the ball away under challenge from Noah Kianese. The ball falls to the edge of the box. The goal, not quite gaping, but certainly it was there to be hit. Shot driven back in, and it has, unfortunately, from an ST Raiders point of view, and for those neutrals hoping for a goal tonight, it has drifted over the bar. And another goal kick again. It's going to fall almost right on halfway line. Kianese again calls early, wins the ball well. And uh, no option really at the back there for Pelicanos, but to play the ball away. Safety first. We've got about, you'd imagine, 15 minutes or so. I beg your pardon, 10 minutes or so. 15 minutes if you include what we'd expect to be some injury time. So 15 minutes or so left of, uh, of game time, you would imagine. And bringing the ball forward, Jonathan Sabathu. He'll be taking this throw in. And he takes it down the line. But it's one in the air, one in the air by Black. looking to cross it. Oh, well, looking to get it away, but they can't. And it's Fernandez. Fernandez has picked it up. And the shot comes in. Judah, Claire, and Fernandez combining well there. But it got a deflection on the way. And really showing some urgency there. Vaulting over the fence at the back there to get the ball. It's the SD Raiders really showing much more intent now in this, in this second half. And it's Thomas Santa Rosa. He's going to take this corner, left footed it looks like. We've got two, two ST Raiders players, including Kianese, right on the line. And more charging in now. Here comes the corner. Drew now flicked away. Picked up right there to the box. Fernandez, will it sit for him? It sits for him briefly. He gets a shot away. Well, he's been in all the action, JT Fernandez, since he's come on. Controlled the ball well. Didn't quite sit for him. Drives in the shot, though. Just hit the target, as so many coaches say. That's what he did. And blocked away well by Black Tanner. Here comes the corner. Flicked up into the air, up to the back post. Up to the back post and away. Jonathan Sabathu looked like he was a chance of getting on the way, on the end of it, I should say. But it's drifted away. And in fact, it's drifted out for a throw in. It didn't go out for a goal kick at all. It's drifted out for a throw in. And Bangora's got the ball. Can he break forward? He can't. Oh, he almost can. He looked like he'd evaded the tackle, but a little telescopic leg gets the ball away there. Well, from an SD Raiders point of view. And what looked like a promising attack? Suleiman Bangora. Could not quite get on the end of it, and we're going to have another another substitution here by the looks of things. SD Raiders number 13 is going to be making his way on. It is Rocco Fragale who's making his way onto the field. I actually bumped into him on the way in. We parked our cars beside each other. Any special messages I said? He said, I just hope I get a goal. He wasn't sure if he'd be starting or not. He was hoping to start, but... Uh, here he is, he's come on off the bench. Rocco Fragale. Let's see if our chat before the match uh, is portentous for him and if he can uh, get on the end of a goal. Well, speaking of getting on the end of a goal, Aiden Kira now has got the ball just down near the edge of the box. Awesome, beautiful feet. Beautiful feet by Arujo. Arujo cuts it back to the edge of the box. But it's cleared away, cleared away by the ST Raiders. Some beautiful feet there by Daniel Arujo. But they couldn't make anything of it. Black Town. Are we drifting towards a nil-nil? Again, Raiders, they've scored very few goals. No goals, in fact, in their last three games. They've defended reasonably well in those games, though. They haven't lost them all. And here he is now, the new man, Rocco Fergale. Well, a short pass. Fergale just gets on the end of it. In fact, it's going to be a corner kick. It's going to be a corner kick now for Black Town. What can they make of this corner kick? It's going to be Christian Nason, but it looks like, is it, coming down to uh, take the corner. It is indeed number 22, Christian Nason, but he's going to take this corner with his right foot. Swung in some beautiful corners in the first half. Let's see what he can do now. Drops it in right on the six-yard box, and it's, oh my goodness me, an absolute free header there. It looked for all money like we were going to have our first goal of the night. Time appeared to stand still, and it looked like it was Paolo Bonani, the defender. He had all the time in the world. The defenders appeared to have dropped off. It looked certain to be a goal, 
But no, away and wide. You could see hands in heads already from some ST Raiders players. They thought the ball was in, as did I, but not to be. And we stay at nil-nil. We stay at nil-nil, but what can they do? It's William Martino. What can he do about this? He's down on that far right-hand side. Lovely little bit of control. Can he step inside? It's 23 against 23. Di Martino against Judah Clara. I beg your pardon. The ball has now gone out of play, and it's going to be a throw. Well, Rocco Fragale was his first involvement in the game, giving away a corner. He uh, felt like he wanted to be involved in a goal, and he almost was involved in a goal, but uh, a goal for Blacktown. Now, Raiders breaking forward. Hold up the ball. Held up the ball well, though. Marcic held up the ball really well. And now right in the middle of the field here. Number 21. He's had an excellent game. Shum Alfar on the ball. Find support from Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa plays it back. Now, forward. One in the air well. One in the air well by Chapel. Oh, and Arujo. Arujo with a swinging foot. The referee's played a good advantage. He has played a good advantage. The ball is out now on the far left-hand side of the field. Good advantage played. And here's Fernandez. Fernandez plays the ball in short. Oh, my goodness me. Is there a foul there? No foul there. No foul there. It looked for all oh, money like there was going to be a penalty awarded. Long kick, and it's gone all the way down. Well, it's all happening now. A very, very heavy tackle on Jonathan Sabath, who, again, not for the first time tonight, an excellent advantage is played by our referee, Jerry Bittas. The ball broke forward. And it looked like there might have been a foul in the box. Seb Malfara, he's been in absolutely everything. Went down under a challenge. There's a little, little conversation going on now between Pelicanos and Malfara. I think uh, Pelicanos might be making the case that... Uh, I beg your pardon, it's not Pelicanos, it's Jamie Prochevsky. I do apologize. Jamie Prochevsky making the suggestion that... Uh, Malfara might have gone down a little bit too easily. Malfara giving it back to Prochevsky, who's been a rock at the back there. The Pelicanos Prochevsky axis at the back has been fantastic. And uh, well, he's back up on his feet. Jonathan Sabathu, that was a very heavy tackle. No card issued. I, not that I have seen. I don't believe there's been a card issued as an inquiry from SD Raiders as to whether or not a card would be issued. I didn't see one issued. And uh, the referee was queried on that, but no, no cards. And on we go. Well, a short kick out. But it's won by the Raiders. And then driven forward. Fernandez chasing it down with Clure. A little push in the back. Uh, a little appeal for pushing the back, I should say. Not given. Will Di Martino wins it. And then he clears it away. Down now towards halfway. Ball is left well by SD Raiders. And they've got it. And here they come. Here comes Hannigan, bringing it out for the back. Finds Marcic. Oh, Marcic, lovely little bit of control and skill. Attempted nutmeg there, but uh, Yang was equal to it. And he now picks up Chapel on this left-hand side. Chapel, he's got uh, he's got two or three options straight in front of him, Yang. Yang finds Arujo. Arujo. Arujo was fine. Kira. Can Kira find space for a shot? He's got Di Martino on the outside. Di Martino plays it back across the box. And is it going to go out for a goal kick? In fact, it looks like it's out for a throw-in, perhaps. Can't quite see from our vantage point. Yes, it looks like it's out for a throw-in. Well, it really looked like there was going to be a chance for a shot there from the Blacktown Spartans. Couldn't quite get on the end of it. And now, well, a mistimed clearance there. The ball's got up in the air. Yang has won it. And he's fine to Rujo. Arujo, oh, lovely turn, Arujo. He's down the byline here. Arujo steps inside, can't he? No, a lovely tackle. Lovely play all round there. Great turn. A great turn from Arujo, but a fantastic tackle working back there. Rocco Fragale, our substitute in the number 13 jersey, working back well and makes a nice tackle. And, uh, important intervention there, but he's given away a corner. And it's going to be nice and been that last corner. Looked like it was going to produce a goal. Will the mark be tighter this time for SD Raiders? It's driven in again. Punched away. Punched away and behind from the goalkeeper, Miguel Figuera. These corners have been extremely dangerous from Naysom in the previous corner. Almost a goal for Banani in that corner. Almost an own goal. What a way that would have been to break the deadlock. As we approach the 45-minute mark, we're not quite there yet, but we approach the 45-minute mark of the second half. Miguel Figuera. Michael Figuera, I beg your pardon. But here comes the corner now. 
Driven in, driven in, right onto the penalty spot. It's one in the air, and it's just over the bar. One in the air, really well there. Really well there. They've been very dangerous from these corners. It's a terrific header. And it looks like it's Prochevsky there who won the ball in the air. I beg your pardon, it's Pelicanos who won the ball well in the air there. Another free header, though. Three corners in the last three or four minutes, and three glorious chances for the Black Ten Spartans, but none of them ending up in uh, Michael Figueroa's net, and so we stay at nil-nil. We stay at nil-nil. Now, long throw down to the edge of the box. Held up by Bangura. Bangura can't quite keep control of it, though. But the clearance is sliced out on the far right-hand side from our commentary position. It's Will Martino who's going to take this throw in. And he throws it in right to the edge of the box. Headed away. Headed away by Hannigan. And uh, headed away then again by Fregale. And now cleared away. Cleared away by Chianese. But it's come back. Has it come back with interest? Well, one, one well. It looked like there was a little push in the back. And indeed there was. Fregale seemed like he flew into the ball there. But uh, there was a push in the back. A push in the back. And so a free kick to the ST Raiders. As we move now into uh, time added on. SD Raiders with, uh, you got to think, some of the last chances of the game for one of these teams to break the deadlock and get all three points. One well in the air by Kianese. And again in the air by Kianese. And a third time by Kianese. Can he make it four? Four headers in a row from Noah Kianese. Now, can something come of it? JT Fernandez looking to get the ball. Marches looking to get the ball. But no, it's one back. And it's Chapel breaking away. One there by Fregale. He's done well since he's come on, Fregale. Kira, can he hold it up? Just miscontrols it there, Kira. Can't quite get it. He was offside there, yes. Coming back from an offside position. JT Fernandez. And then, yes, well, the ball was the ball was kicked away. And so Pelicanos now. The Black Town Spartans captain, to Pelicanos. To launch this ball into the night sky. Down towards Kira. Oh, he wins it in the air really well. Wins it in the air really well. Can they keep it in play? The Spartans, they can. It's Bangara. Bangara, but he just miscontrols it. Looked like he'd made the turn. A slight miscontrol, and then out the ball goes. Both teams now desperately trying to get the points, as we said. It's a real snakes and ladders game if either of these two teams here can get a win, get a late goal. They really rock it up the table. Six, seven teams in this division, all separated by just one point. Several teams on 11, several teams on 10. A draw would keep them all pretty much where they are, but uh, a win would really rocket you up the table. Now, Raiders, they've won the ball. Played forward. Oh, just slightly miscontrolled there. Slightly miscontrolled. It was Kianese with the flowing locks now for these last couple of minutes. He looked like he'd broken away. Held up by Bang... Oh, held up. It looked like by Bangora, but held up illegally. Held up illegally, and so a free kick to the Raiders. Fregale. Sabathu, Fernandez, no, loses out, loses out. Now, what can they do? That's a lovely turn inside by Aiden Kira, but just turned into trouble, turned into trouble. Now, Fregale, lovely little pass, oh, left well, oh, left well, it looked like, by Seb Malfara, it looked like it was the right idea, but it just didn't quite come off, and now the Raiders try forward. Kianese just intercepted well there by Banani. It really is helter-skelter stuff now in these last few minutes. Riley Chapel driving forward. Riley Chapel, he's got support outside him. He's finding Bangura. Can Bangura keep the ball in play? He does well. He's got three, four options in the box to choose from. Cross comes in. Cross comes in. It just took a little deflection. And a deflection. Well, now there is space. Now there is space. It's Fernandez driving forward. He's got Chianese with him. He's got support on the right-hand side. He's got support on the, uh, this side. A touch. Looking to shape up for a shot. The shot comes in. Oh, it's just over the bar. What an opportunity to win this game. Well, the actual last incident of the entire game could have been a goal there. It was some beautiful play down this right-hand side. One of our substitutes, JT Fernandez, picks up the ball finds a colleague, a spare man over on the right-hand side. Noah Kianese was also there in support. A dinked finish. Goalkeeper looked like he was beaten all ends up, but the ball sailed over the bar. And the game ends on the whistle of our referee, Jerry Bitas.
And so David Feeney here rounding things out from the dual named Blacktown Football Park slash Blacktown Aquatic Centre. The game ends. The home side, Blacktown Spartans nil. The away side, SD Raiders, for the fourth week in a row for them, nil. And it's a very good night from Blacktown Football Park.